Yo, what is going on guys? I am bringing you the GM series for the New Jersey Devils and we are in the Eastern Conference Finals going up against the Tampa Bay Lightning who just won their last series 4-1 and if you guys remember we beat the Carolina Hurricanes in a sweep in four games obviously and we played really good. Besides the game where we let up two goals, I mean we let up 0, 1, and 0. So we had a really good defensive game and we had some pretty big break uh, breakups and goals. We had three and five, and then those, then the other three as well. Just the two game right there, the two goals right there. But that wasn't too bad. I mean, our goal scoring isn't obviously superb. We don't have uh, no one in the goal leaders besides Henrique. But besides that, we have a very strong defensive game, and I feel like that's opposite of Tampa Bay. The Tampa Bay definitely has been the better defenseman than us, but. I don't know. I mean, I would say they definitely, if I had to choose, I'd definitely choose theirs. But I feel like in the future, I think ours could be better. But for this series, it's going to be hard. They have better forwards in us, better defensemen. We have better goalies, but even better depth I would give to them as well. So this is going to be a hard series. But, I mean, there's been times where I play a series where my team is ten times better than these GMs. Like, I have offline ones as well, and I still get the loss. So it really just depends on who does what. Maybe the goalie Schneider will stand his head. But anyway, game number one at home. We have home advantage. First period. 1-0. Elias scores a slap shuckle on Lindback. We are getting dominated in shots, but doesn't matter. Second period. Elias again with another uh, slap shuckle on the power plane. Ernie scores. Erie. Er, no, Ernie. It's Ernie. He scores to make this game interesting. But... We have a whole other period left, and they have 30 shots in two periods. We need to play better defensively, stop some of these shots, or we just need to score quick to give us a 3-1 lead and then just shut it down from there. So third period, let's not give them any power plays, please. Oh, we have a power play of our own. Can we score? Maybe. A power play is too bad. They get a power play. They got like five shots in theirs compared to our one. They got another power play. Like The thing I said I didn't want to give them, and we gave them two in like four minutes. So let's not do that again. Let's just quickly end this game. End this game. We got three minutes left. Two, one, and we go home with the victory. Not the best victory in my opinion. I mean, our penalty kill was good, but we did give them a lot of chances. Elias with two goals. Terra Vining, Ryder, and Barry with the assists. Schneider with an amazing game. Lindback even with a good game of his own. But let's look at these. So shots, not that. The shots, here we go. So they dominate us in the first. Second period even third period they they beat us not by that much but still that first period was terrible and we walked away in that first period with the lead so whew, that's what I'm talking about they have a better team we won that game they had more shots than us in every period and they dominated us in the first period and we walked away with the lead in the first period okay so game one is behind us we have the first we have the first uh, win Game two, let's take the home ice advantage and let's win both these games. So first period, nothing, nothing. We were winning this game in shots. Second period, yeah, second period. Callahan, the guy I wanted to stop, gets a shorthanded goal. From there, though, eh, a shorthanded goal from there. Okay, I, I guess. I mean, I feel like he would have to just, I mean, unless they were just completely pressuring us. But otherwise, I feel like a shorthanded goal from there would usually be like a breakaway, like a two-on-one. And you take a slap shot from there, but otherwise, okay, I guess so. We need to score, and we need to score now. We're in the third period. Power play is something we really need to... Oh, there it is! Power play goal from Andy Green to get us back in this game, tie the game up there. So that is nice to see. Andy Green scoring. I don't think he has any goals, but he had like seven assists, so... He's been a monster for us. Apparently, all well, the sad thing is, he's not going to get any better. But Erie, Ernie scores. Oh, man, that's the dagger. We've just been playing so good, and Kucherov scores, so this game is over, sadly. Oh, and Filpula just decided to make it 4-1 game. So, again, we got dominated last game in shots. We won that game 4-2, I believe. Or whatever it was, we won that game. This game, we played basically even with them in shots, and we lose 4-1. So, shots don't really mean anything, especially in the simulation games. Oh, never mind. We only won that game 2-1 last game. Where did I say 4-2? Okay, so here we go. We're in their home. Let's take at least one win out of this first period. Okay, so there's some goals here. Stamkos, I don't know what goal that is. It's, it's got to be under five for him. And Ernie scores again, so he's been really good for them. Henrique, a deflection power play goal, so our power play's been good. But then I just looked at theirs, and they got two power play goals. So we have to stop We have to stop being in the box in the second and third period and the rest of the season. Series, I should say. 
And Eliash again scores, so Eliash has been playing really good. Second period, nothing, nothing. We're definitely outplaying them, it looks like, in my opinion. I mean, their two goals are on the power play. So we just got to stay out of the box, and I say we win this game. But they could get a one quick power play goal, and this game is over. And there's the power play, and there's the goal. Did I call that, or did I call that? So our penalty kill needs to get better. Can we please make this game even? No, we can't. Our penalty kill needs to get some adjustments done. Another power play for them. No goal that time, but this game is over. <sighs> we played such a good third period. I don't remember what the shots were. The shots were okay. It wasn't that good, but at first it was. And yeah, they get a power play. They score. They got three power plays this game. Well, they scored on three of them. How many did they get? They got... Uh, I don't know actually how many. They got a double minor there. They scored on that one. Hooking one, hooking one. Elbow and hooking. So, a lot of these are very... Uh, the high-sticking one is not really, but these all these hooking ones could be avoided. The elbow one could have, but... <sighs> that's the elbow one on Larson, which is the game winner from Stamkos. I don't know about any more. I want to take a quick drink, because I've been going on with this, these commentaries for a while. I've been, I did three in a row, so... Whew. Okay. Oh, man. This is pretty intense. This is, not this is, this is. We're down 2-1 in this series. Our penalty kill has been garbage, beyond garbage. Um, I, I don't know what to do. I mean, maybe best face-off man? I, I don't know. I mean, Johansson's rocking 78 face-offs. Henrik, maybe 80? 75? Yep, 75. Tara Vining, maybe 80 as well. 74. I honestly think Johansson has, I mean, uh, yeah, Johansson has the best face-offs on the team. Bruner might have, nope, no, just kidding. Nope. I'm gonna think, yeah, unless Jokinen has it. I don't think Jokinen does. Yeah, nope. Johansson with, is it 80 or 70? 78. Seven, no one even with 80 face-offs on our team. <sighs> Maybe that's why we're losing, because we're just never winning. I mean, all these teams we're playing have these top centermans, like, first line centermans who probably all have 85 face offs so when they get a power play they're winning 80% of the draws and that's that's the killer right there and I can't do anything about that maybe we bring Barry up here I'm gonna say that might do something and instead of Kennedy let's try Let's not keep that then if we're uh, switching the center in. Let's bring Eliash there. And uh, yeah, besides that, I don't know what else we could do. Again, we'll bring Barry instead of uh, Larson. <sighs> but yeah, I f honestly feel like the reason why we're losing is our penalty kill. And our penalty kill is bad because no one on our team is above 80 faceoffs. Even 80 might not be enough against these top teams. 85 is like the prime spot, but we don't have anyone. I don't really think people can get better at face-offs. I don't I haven't really noticed it, but I mean they could, but I'm gonna say they don't. So game four, we lose this game. I'm saying our season's over, but you never know, but we need to win this game. So first period. Hey, we scored. Ryder scored. There you go. I don't know if they got any power plays. I'm hoping they did. So we could uh okay, they didn't, so we need to stay out of the box, and we need to stay out of the box now, second period. Ah so Ollie scored. Ernie scored again. This guy scores like eight goals a game against us, apparently. He's like 83 or 84 overall, or 82 overall, or whatever. Shorthanded goal on that. Then Henrique scores to tie the game. Then Malone scores to give them the, uh, the leading goal. And then Jokinen scores, so that's nice to see from him, but this game is not going to matter unless we come away with a W. Okay, let's take this slow. Let's not get any penalties, and let's score right here in this power play. Or let's not. That's, that's oh, and this one maybe? Why is our power play so bad and theirs is so good? Three power plays back to back to back and nothing. They're going to get one power play. Okay, Johansson scored. Okay, screw the 78 face-offs. You score there. This could be the game-winning goal. And is it yes or no? Two minutes left. Oh, my. We get a win here. We played really good, and I don't think we had one penalty this game. Not one penalty, and they had like seven. And we didn't score in any of ours, but it doesn't matter. We walked away with the win, so whew, what a game. Oh my gosh. 
Henrik and Johansson played great. Schneider played pretty good, not the best, but pretty good. And we walked out the win. Oh man, oof. Need to take a breather real quick, oof. <sighs> okay, so Elias took over the lead in the skulls. Mateau kind of slowed down. Okay, so we, what we need to do, the, re the only way we win the series is if we stay out of the box. Because we can't do anything, like, we're going to lose all these face-offs, and they get the puck back to Stamkos, they got the puck back to Kucherov, they get the puck back to, I don't even know who's their top defenseman, but anyway, they have a lot of people who can shoot the puck, even Callahan's already at shooting the puck, but let's quickly see what happens in game number five. We win this game, I have a lot of confidence we win the series, first period. Okay, so we had a power play goal, so that's something new from Johansson. So Johansson's playing very good now. Panic, a fourth liner scores. Malone, I believe, a third or fourth liner scores. And Jokinen. Jokinen and Johansson seem like they're taking over the series. No power play goals for them. And any penalty, I mean, any power plays for them. Okay, so no. We haven't taken a whole power play, I mean, a whole penalty in like five periods. Okay, second period. Oh, personal scores, so not good power play. Okay, we didn't take any again, so I like our discipline, but we're not winning this game, and that's the only thing that matters, so. Third period, can we quickly get back in this game? Power play, five on three, come on. There it is, Johansson again scores to tie the game for us. A huge goal right there. We got to stay out of this box. And again, Jokinen, like I said, Jokinen and Johansson are taking over this series. JJ right there, there you go. Jokinen and Johansson taking over the series. Another power play. A long one, too, and nothing. Stay out of the box. We win this game. We win the series. Can this happen? Two minutes left. Yes. Game five is in our hands. We are playing Unreal. And by we, I should say the Devils. And by the Devils, I should honestly just say Johansson and Jokinen. They scored both the goals. Well, they scored two each. And they've just been playing Unreal. I mean, five goals for Johansson and four for Jokinen. And Jokinen's playing, I believe, third line, left one here. Oh man, we haven't got a penalty in like like 50 games, and by 50, I think I think it's been like two and a half. Um, I don't even know. We're, we're gonna just simulate. I don't think we're gonna get a good round pick anyway. I'm saying we win this. We might win the cup this year, so I'm saying we're gonna get like a bottom. Uh, I guess just go here. But anyway, oh man, we gotta get Ryder maybe going a little bit more, Henrique going a little bit more, maybe our defense a bit more, but. As long as Jokinen and Johansson keep playing good, our defense plays keep playing good, and mainly we stay out of the box, we could end the series in Game 6 at Tampa. Here we go. First period. Nothing, nothing. Any penalties? Okay, again, no penalties. Our penalty kill, I mean, our discipline has been unreal. Second period. Kennedy scored. Oh my gosh, Kennedy. I remember the last time he scored a goal. It was in double overtime, and we won that series in seven. Oof. Any penalties again? Nothing. Oh my. No penalties in like three games. That is actually unreal. If you compare that to my hut penalties, I take around nine minutes a game. So that's that's a big difference. So let's quickly see what we could do in the third period. We are winning in shots, but we just can't go in the box. We got to get another goal and we win the series. Another goal and we win the series. We're shooting a lot of the pucks on the net, so that is good. Okay, let's. We got seven minutes left. No penalties. And we're going to the Stanley Cup Finals. What a game! Wow. Goals against average. Schneider has been a little bit worse this series. Same with the save percentage. The wins. Schneider's first, obviously. Shifley. We don't want to play him, but we're going to have to, I think. Either him or we're going to have to play, uh, well, him, Wheeler, and Ladd. We're going to play Barchi and Hudler. Assists. We have no one up there. Goals. We have no one up there again, but we are a very solid team depth wise. No, we don't have any superstars or anything, and we're going to be playing. The Winnipeg Jets. We got our fourth phone as well, so. Oh man, Winnipeg Jets, we have to stop Shifley. 
he has been unreal, so that's going to be pretty scary, but let's quickly just look at his stats, and we're going to end this episode off here. Player stats in the playoffs, and let's see what we have. So let's go to centerman. We have Johansson finally leading the team in points, and by points, I mean just centerman at the moment, but he's been unreal this series. Henrique's been... Eh, he's been alright. He had a few, uh, I think he had a few assists. Maybe one or two goals. I don't really remember. Teravainen's been okay there. Kennedy, three extremely important goals, so I'll give him that. And he's playing fourth line anyway. Mato, really good still there. Elias, really good. Jokinen, just good this series, but he got like five points this series, I believe. Kennedy, oh, oh every time. I keep saying Kennedy and Tedden B and keep getting them mixed up. Tedden B. Not so good. He only got one point in series, but okay. And Chloe and Bickle haven't done anything since like game one and two, so... I mean, we're winning still, but if they were producing like two points a series, we probably have swept every series. But they're only doing, they're not doing anything. Bruner completely died out. Ryder's been okay. And defense, Green, nine points, very good. Barry, very good. Hanka, I don't think he did anything this series. Jelanas. Didn't do anything. Larson didn't do anything. Merrill, I think he got one assist. And goalies, obviously, we already basically looked at this pretty good. So, like I said, first three games, our penalty kill was, we were always on that, and they were always scoring on it. They were always getting powerful goals, and that's why we played bad. So, goals four per game, it's dropped a bit. But goals against, that's dropped a bit as well, but still doing very good. Our play actually went up by almost 5%. Still not good at all, under 15%. And our penalty kill went down, but we were out of the box for the last like four games, so we have to stay out of this box because I feel like Winnipeg is a very good power play, and we need to capitalize on our power plays. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, and the New Jersey Devils are going to the Stanley Cup Finals. See you guys next time. Free with you tonight. I, said I, I need, need you.